send anything back to me. Like once you're done, just done. All right. Okay. This is Ilana Mintz. I'm the executive director of Urban Adventure Squad. We are thrilled that you're joining us for our back to school Rock Creek cleanup with Rock Creek Conservancy on Saturday morning at 10 a.m. <clears throat> we will be at two sites and one of them has changed. We'll be at Carter Barron and Melvin Hazen. And I'm gonna turn this over to my friend Jeannie Braha, the executive director of Rock Creek Conservancy, so she can tell you some good information and some ways that we're all gonna stay safe and prepare together to protect and defend Rock Creek. Thanks, Jeannie. Thanks, Alana. Um, I'm so thrilled to have Urban Adventure Squad partnering with us for this cleanup. Um, over the last 15 years, we've had more than 40,000 volunteers come out and help restore Rock Creek. Um, and since I know all of you enjoy an adventure in Rock Creek regularly, we're delighted that you've chosen to do a little socially distant stewardship with the Conservancy this weekend. Before we get started, I wanted to talk just a bit about why we're doing this. Um, Rock Creek Conservancy, in addition to being a friends group to Rock Creek Park, is a watershed organization that protects the entire 77 square miles of Rock Creek watershed. The watershed starts at uh, the northern end in Durwood, Maryland, and drains all the way down to Georgetown, Washington, DC. So there's a lot of work to be done. The biggest challenge in Rock Creek is stormwater runoff. If you're down by the creek after a big rain, you might see something looks more like the stream on the right, instead of what you see on the left of those two pictures, which is Rock Creek at rest on a normal day. Um, because of the landscape in Rock Creek, but also the amount of impervious surface that we have, Rock Creek gets a lot of stormwater runoff. The map on the left shows you all the blue areas are impervious surfaces or hard surfaces where when rain hits it, instead of soaking into the ground like you would see in a forest, the water runs off into our storm drains and then eventually into Rock Creek. And it carries a lot of pollution with it. Now, most of this pollution is invisible, things like nutrients and phosphates and bacteria. However, there is one form of stormwater pollution that we can see, and that is litter. So imagine if you drop a little piece of paper as you're walking along um, and just think about what happens when it rains and that water starts flowing. And you can imagine that piece of paper flowing down the street into a storm drain, which then like shoots and ladders eventually takes you to Rock Creek. So this Saturday, we will be asking all of you to help us fight stormwater pollution by picking up the litter that you see in Rock Creek. Now I'm going to walk through the steps for doing that and doing it safely. Um, as I said, the solution to stormwater pollution is people-powered restoration. Now, I think most of you have done step one, which is to register for the event. That helps us make sure that we have enough supplies for all of you it also makes sure that you've signed the waiver that we need you to complete for the conservancy. It also will make sure that we send you all of the details so you know where to come and when. The next step is that there is a park service waiver that we need you to complete because you are serving as a volunteer in Rock Creek Park. Now there are two versions of this waiver, an adult waiver and a youth waiver. If you are 18 or older, you can sign an adult waiver for yourself. If you are under 18, you need to find a grown up who is responsible for you and have them sign that. When you receive your confirmation email from either Urban Adventure Squad or Rock Creek Conservancy, we will provide a PDF of these forms. You are welcome to fill that out at home and send it back to us as a scan or just take a photo of the signed form and send it back to us or you can bring it back with you on Saturday. We just need to make sure that there is one form for each person participating. This is a National Park Service requirement. Uh, this is what the form looks like. It's pretty straightforward. Just fill it out and make sure you don't miss any spots. Um, the minor waiver, just to make sure, does need to be filled out for the youth and then signed by an adult. All right, the third step is easy. You need to show up. Um, as Alana said, we'll be meeting in two different places. On this page, we have a map of the Melvin Hazen site, where you see the smiley face is right by the community garden and there are some picnic benches. And that's where we'll have staff from the Conservancy and Urban Adventure Squad ready to share materials, remind you of any safety procedures, um, and give you everything you need to get out there and help us fight stormwater pollution. 
Um, now, when you come, we want you to, if you can, please bring gloves. We will provide gloves if you would like to borrow them from us, but we know that many people are more comfortable with their own materials right now. If you haven't sent us back your waiver, please bring that with you and hand it in. Um, and finally, we encourage you to bring water just as a sensible thing to do on a hot summer day when you're working outside. Um, we encourage volunteers to wear long pants and long sleeves so that if you brush up against any poison ivy or what have you, you are protected. Um, I think you all know the basics of working outdoors um, through your work with Urban Adventure Squad, but I know it's, you've been virtual this summer, so just some reminders. Um, light colors are always nice when it's hot out like this, and certainly you want to wear sturdy shoes that you don't mind getting dirty. Um, the big difference between a cleanup during a pandemic and a cleanup on a regular day is that we are asking volunteers to take their trash out of the park with them. So once you collect a bag of trash, you'll just need to take that in your vehicle or walk it home with you and put it wherever you normally have trash picked up. We appreciate your doing this. It really helps reduce the, the stress on the park during this really tricky time. All right, as Alana mentioned, we have two locations so that we are more socially distant and spread out. The second one is the Carter Barren and we will meet at picnic, the Picnic Grove that is just south of the Tennis Center in Carter Barron. So you can enter via the 16th Street entrance on Morrow Drive and come down past the tennis bubbles. Or you can enter the Colorado Avenue entrance to the parking lot and you'll see the, the picnic area amongst some trees just a little bit north of you. Same materials to bring, same general reminders about safety in the field. Um, just don't go to Melvin Hazen if you're planning to come to Carter Barron. Um, we will be there Saturday from 10 to 12. Um, again, we'll need you to take your trash home with you. All right, so now we have some basic safety measures to make sure that we all have a really fantastic time out in the field. We want stewards to be able to come back another day to help us. Um, we ask volunteers to always wear your gloves when you're doing a cleanup. You never know what you're going to pick up and you want to make sure that you're protected. Um, please make sure that you stay with someone uh, whether, you know, the, we use the buddy system. And then also stay within the designated boundaries. So when you pick up your trash bags and other supplies from the Conservancy and the squad staff, we'll give you a general outline of where you can go to pick up trash. And as long as you stay within those boundaries, we'll come find you if you don't come back before the end of the session. Um, if you do prefer, you can take your materials and do a cleanup in a place that's more comfortable for you, but we would love to have you stay close by so that we can all celebrate your hard work when you're done. Um, now again, I know you're adventurers, so this is probably common sense, but do look where you're going. There's a fair amount of leaf litter on the ground in the forest. Um, there might be a slope, so just watch where you're going. Um, and then more common sense. As with any cleanup, just don't pick up anything you're not comfortable picking up. Um, we always ask volunteers to leave sharp things on the ground. Um, and right now we're finding not a ton, but sometimes we see personal protective equipment or other things that may, um, may be best left on the ground. There's plenty of trash out there, so don't worry about not being able to pick up those things. If you see anything that might not be safe for other people to be near, um, please let Conservancy staff know right away. If it seems like an immediate threat, please call 911 to report that. Um, Finally, if you were to get a minor injury, please come back and let us know um, so that we can make sure that you are taken care of. Um, however, if anything happens that uh, puts you in immediate danger, call 911 to have emergency services respond. All right, now we are taking a few extra steps during the pandemic. Um, as I said, we require that volunteers RSVP so we can keep track of the number of you um, and make sure that we're as contactless as possible. Um, we will make sure that as we're handing out supplies, we do it in a way that is contactless. We'll lay things out so that you can pick them up and do that as safely as possible for you. Um, and then of course, volunteers, if you have in the last two weeks experienced any COVID similar symptoms, we ask that you take the day off. There's plenty of time to be a socially distant steward in the future. The same goes if you've had close contact with or cared for someone who has been diagnosed with coronavirus, or if you've been or been in close contact with someone who's been in an area that's currently under a shelter in place order, 
or under the travel restrictions under the mayor's executive order. Um, so again, basic common sense. Um, we appreciate everyone taking care of themselves and each other so that we can continue to be a really strong community of Rock Creek stewards. Um, and please don't hesitate to ask us any questions. If you want, need better directions, if you have some questions about the process or just want to share ideas to continue to improve our events, please feel free to reach out. We're happy to um, continue to, to give you information. Um, Alana, I'm so appreciative that Urban Adventure Squad is partnering with Rock Creek Conservancy for this really fun, I can't believe it's back to school time already, <laughs> back to school cleanup. Um, we hope it's the first of many great collaborations in the future. So thank you and we'll see you all on Saturday.